Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Now, I'm running into Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be grabbing something from our patriotic aisle. Today, we're going to do some easy DIYs using just dollar store bandanas. Let's get started. So what I've got here is a dollar store bandana and I'm gonna open it up and fold it in a diagonal. So I want this stars piece to be in the corner like so, and then I'm going to fold it like this. Now I need to do this with a second bandana. So I grab a second bandana and I fold it also in a triangle like this. Now what I need to do is take these two ends and fold them together like this to make a little double knot like this. So now they're tied together and I've got two tied together. So now I'm going to do this for a few more of these. I've got this suction cup and it's got a hook. They're meant to hang wreaths or anything you like, and I'm gonna hang this on my window. So I'm gonna hang these on either side of my window, like so. Okay, now what I do is I take the other end and I tie it like so. And you can double knot it or not. Now, you can make this a short as you want, but it's basically creating a banner. So you could take this to a park or anywhere you want and hang it from trees. Um, I just use these suction cups and that's what works for me. So I love how this little banner turned out and you could do this with any bandana, not just for your holiday season. Now that we have the first one done, it's time to work on the next hat. Now, if you're a sewer, you're absolutely welcome to sew this next step. If you're not a sewer, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna be using hot glue because this is a temporary solution. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my bandanas. Now, I did learn that not all the sides are exactly the same. So you'll want to test out your bandanas for this step to make sure that your sides are matching up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start by matching the corners up. I'm gonna put hot glue here and hot glue here in this corner. And then I'm gonna stick the corners together. Then what I'm gonna do is make sure to run a line of glue, or you can do dots if you prefer, down the center to hold this together. And then I'm gonna let this cool. And while it's cooling, I'm gonna repeat this on the other side so that I have three across. So I'll go ahead and repeat this step. Once I have this row of three together, I'm going to repeat this process two more times. So I have a total of three strips with three bandanas. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move this one aside right in the center of the table so I can work with it. And I have my other set of three. So I'm gonna pull my other set of three up here, like so. And I'm gonna start with the middle and work my way out. So I'm gonna straighten this out a bit. And I'm gonna start here by layering these two and getting this started. So I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm gonna put a dab here to get started and a dab on the other side to get started. Then I'm gonna run that glue down the center, like so. And then I'm gonna finish by moving it down, and I'm gonna do this side next, get it all the way glued down. So I'll finish gluing that row on both ends together, and I'll do it on the other side as well. So all in all, I have nine squares glued together total. So all nine squares are glued together. And what have I just made out of these bandanas? I just made a quick tablecloth. And again, you could sew this if you want. 
And if you want something more neutral, pick just regular bandanas and do the same thing. And you can use it all summer long or for any other holiday. You can adapt this for any table size as well. Are you ready for some more fun? Let's keep going. For this next one, you can use either a bandana or a paper napkin. It is either, either one is fine. It just depends upon what you wanna use. But I like to consider things reusable. So I'm gonna start with the bandana and I'm gonna use a recyclable jar or a mason jar. I'm gonna start by placing the napkin inside the jar. And then what I'm gonna place in the center here is the silverware. So I'm gonna put my spoon, and my knife, and my fork inside. So now what I have here is my table setting. So I've got my napkin that they can use and I can wash. I've got my mason jar, which will become my drink glass. And I've got my silverware for my place setting. How cool are these? And they're so reusable. I am so excited about these simple ideas. Now let's do one more. So for this next project, you're gonna need either a, like one of these candle holders or you can use a candle holder of your choice. You could also use a paper napkin, straws, or a bandana. So if you were gonna use the paper napkin, it would go around like this and you would just mod podge it onto the glass. So that is one very easy option. The next option would be to fold this or cut this and you can tie it around or you could cut it and glue it. So that would be another choice, but make sure that the fabric is farther away from the wick. Lastly, we're gonna focus on these straws because I think this will be a great little project for this candle. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue the straw like so. Careful not to burn yourself. <laughs> and then you're gonna place the straw onto the glass. And I'm gonna continue doing that all the way around. So here's the candle all completed and it's going to glow through these straws. Simply place it into the center of the table and you are now ready for your party. I hope this inspires you to create some easy bandana and holiday decor of your own. And remember, you don't have to use holiday specific bandanas. You can use other bandanas to create any occasion or a generic look for all occasions. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chesscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.